OK, now I'm ready to lathe the profile. I need to return to object level. After all, I don't want to lathe a sub-object selection of the profile. I want to lathe the whole thing. Now I'll assign the modifier. And we aren't exactly getting what I imagined. I'll toggle on shaded mode by pressing F3. You can try different directions down here by clicking these buttons. In fact, we want the Y direction because it's the local axis of the spline that's being revolved. What's going to make the difference for us is the align controls here. You can align to the minimum, the center, which is what it was doing by default, or the maximum. And that's what we want, maximum. If you need to, you can expand the modifier and go to its axis level where you can move the axis manually. We aren't going to need to do that because we lined up the start and end points so that they're right on top of each other. So there won't be any gap in the axis. Let's go into perspective and you'll see that there's some shading problems on the top. If you weld the core, that will eliminate that problem. Right here you can set the number of degrees that you want in your lathe, and we want a full circle, but it's possible to have less. Flip the normals if the object ends up being ups uh, inside out, but we're okay. I'll toggle on edged faces and you can see the topology. Right now we have 12 segments and it looks pretty chunky. Let's try 36. That's starting to look better. So the segments here control the number of segments around the lathe. But what about the number of segments up and down the profile? That's controlled by the line itself. in the interpolation rollout. I'll toggle on show end result in the stack so that I can work down here on the line at object level and see the result of the lathe. I'll change the number of steps here and you can see that the topology changes along the lathe axis, the up and down axis. Let's go back up to the lathe modifier. Another option down here that you should be aware of is the output type. Right now we're making a mesh, and mesh objects have flat surfaces everywhere. So this is, these are all planar surfaces that are being smoothed together because of this setting. You see? That's the actual structure of the object as we've defined it. But when we smooth it, it looks nice and round. I'll choose to output a patch this time, and I'll change the number of segments from 36 down to 6. And it looks about the same. Why is that? That's because patch objects have curvature. This is a single patch, and it's curved. So that's the difference between the mesh and patch data types patches can be curved at a fundamental level, whereas mesh, mesh objects have to be planar. So in this case it might be nicer to have a patch output with fewer segments and we'll end up with a nice curved looking piece of pottery.